In the previous video on Fumana feedback, we used the steer channel, the 321 and the 333 to create a feedback loop that combined our original source with a re-injection of Fumana's input back into itself. But there might be other ways. So for example, if we have another setup with the quad steer channel and the no 333 and 321, we can have some other options that are not necessarily a limit. So for example, we can use the quad steer channel itself as our mixer and the feedback loop. So we can patch the brain source final output here. which is going straight to the master on uh, through the ribbon cables on the back. But we have these local outputs that I patched to the odd and even inputs of Fumana. And I can patch the odd and even outputs to another channel, like this. Actually, I'm gonna keep a little bit of color coding even output, odd output. And can activate the channel and bring in the feedback. Which is in parallel. And I can even switch the brain so off and just play with Fumana's resonant bands. We can have even more control if we use the effect sends as our input. In this way, I can keep the dry brain saw all the way down and send it through the yellow sand, which in this case, to Fumana. Now, the yellow sand in this case, whether I take it from here or from here, is the same. In case I have more channels, including the quad stereo channel, this will withdraw the signal at an earlier stage. So it will still go to the group, but in the group it will be mixed with all the yellow sands of the other channels. And here I can take just the ones at a, at a local level. And for example, I can send my brains, I can set the yellow uh, send to pre-fader mode and send it to Fumana. You can see that it's lighting up. And I can balance the dry and the wet signal. Now, since I am playing with this dry, wet setup with the odd and even bands, I can even take advantage of the phase inversion for the odd and even output. In case I want some uh, phase cancellation or reinforcement. And while I am here, I can send the Fumana back into itself with a very controlled feedback which is affected by the odd and even phase. And the cool thing is that since this is pre-fader I can adjust the volume of my feedback signal without jeopardizing this very gentle balance. And I can then bring in some brains as well. So this is a very straightforward feedback meaning that we mix the signals, we send them back in. But by introducing this feedback loop, we can add some other pieces, such as an external effect. So for example, 
instead of patching my reverb return let's remove the feedback so instead of patching my reverb return to the group return I can patch it to Fumana's input it can be left and right now if I send my reverb back into Fumana's odd and even inputs I can then send some of my brain's signal to the reverb which in turn plays it in through Fumana and uh, I can set the reverb to pre-fader remove it and here just the wet signal and now the cool part I can send some fill reverb back in I need to be careful with the gain but the result is very very spooky and I can play with the face as well Now the problem with the feedback is that the reverb can really, really, really get out of hand. And now probably the simplest feedback technique of all. We can pass the all output to our channel. Then we take two cables and patch the even output to the even input and the odd output to the odd input. And this will give us a Fumana that we can play by itself. This is very easy to blow, but uh, Mattia, a musician who attended one of our workshops, compared the sound to overblown clarinet which is a definition that I like a lot and we can add some reverb now since we are directly connecting the output and the inputs a phase inversion here will completely cut off the sound and I think that we can try to make this an instrument as a bonus so for example we can use the parametric scanner control instead of manually switching the on and off the bands to create this sort of calliope sound but we can take this technique even further so for example in this patch we used the eight gate tracks on the Usta sequencer gate A and B to open as many bands and to create eight independent feedback loops through the odd and even trick that we used before so basically we are now using Fumana as a fixed frequency sine wave generator now this by itself might not be that fascinating but we can just throw a drone on top of that a drone that we can ping like this.